Look, look, look. It is so beautiful. Hello, future wedding dress. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, setback time. It's just not the vision I have for my wedding dress. Something super frustrating has just happened. It's a week before the wedding, feeling overwhelmed. It's all just a little much right now. Oh my God, I can't believe I've just gone ahead and done this. I... I decided to knit and crochet my own wedding dress in approximately five weeks time. This is possibly the most crazy thing I will ever attempt to knit and or crochet. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Will I even be able to complete this in five weeks? Is this crazy? We'll just have to see. Me and Yuki have bought a house. I am currently standing in our new home, which feels completely surreal and I can't believe that this we bought this house. And we decided, of course, to have a housewarming party. And then because we've been engaged for over a year, Yuki threw out the idea, kind of said like, oh, maybe we should just get married at the same time. Just have a wedding and a housewarming party. And I was immediately like, yes, let's do it. And uh, in seven weeks, we're getting married. I cannot believe that this is our new home. So everything is happening pretty fast. And of course, first I thought, oh, maybe I should knit my own wedding dress. But then I sort of thought, no, um, it's too much. It's too stressful. There isn't enough time. But then the more I looked online, trying to find a dress, um, the more I started to think like, ah, maybe I should do it. I don't know, but this can... I, now, of course, I'm really excited. I've got like a lot of adrenaline, momentum going. I ordered the yarn, um, but I have no idea, like in three weeks time, if it's going to be tears and frustration and maybe it's not going to go at all as planned. We don't know, but right now I feel really good about it, even though I'm kind of like nervous at the same time. is so exciting. I've never actually seen the um, pure silk yarn from Knitting, uh, Knitting for Olive live. So, I mean, this is a little bit of a risk, but I have used Knitting for Olive yarns uh, a lot, especially for the book, I use them a lot. So I know they're really high quality. It is absolutely amazing. It's called Cream and 100% Buret Silk Ecotex Standard. <gasps> camera fell down. Got so excited here. Can you see like it has almost like a little bit of this kind of sheen on it. Oh, I love it. It's so luxurious. <laughs> Do you think I have enough? <gasps> oh god. Oh no. Well, good morning. It is officially day three of this crazy, crazy journey. And let me fill you in on what's been happening. I've gotten up bright and early today because I'm going to a cafe to meet my sister. We're gonna work a little bit. Um, and I started yesterday, finally, on the dress. I've been, I don't know, designing and thinking about the design, but then I just figured yesterday, I just need to start. So I have started and I've started with knitting the front panel, the thing that is going to be here in the center of the upper part. Um, and this is the lace 
that I've chosen for it. So this is as far as I've come. I'm using two strands of this pure silk yarn on four millimeter needles. And this is a pattern that is in the Japanese knitting book by uh, Hitomi Shida, or Japanese Knitting Bible. I've talked about this book before and probably spent like two hours or something on it. And let me tell you about the design for my dress. I have been wrecking my brain trying to figure out the design for the dress because I really want it to drape nicely and I want to combine both crochet and knitting. So here's what I've come up with and the plan that I hope is going to work out. All right, so I've done a few sketches. This was my first idea, very much inspired by the photo that I'll insert here. And in this one, I was thinking to make the whole skirt part crocheted in kind of these layers. And this looks almost like a netting, but it has a really nice drape. So I figured I would do that. And then I would do for the top part, a knitted part here and then crochet here and maybe, and maybe not sleeves, depending on how stressed I'll become. But then I actually found another really gorgeous dress from, I think, Dior. And I've done a few, well, this looks like some kind of a Baroque dress, <laughs> which, um, no, that's not it. This is my current design that I'm going after. So my plan is to start by doing the knitted panel here for the front, which I'm probably going to repeat on the back as well, maybe with a different place motif, let's see. And then I'm gonna crochet here around because I think that will give it like a good structure, almost like, well, not a corset, but make it like with, I think, crochet hook number four, because then it becomes like really sturdy. And then probably like crochet some straps. I don't know, I'll have to see like the whole neckline situation and then I'm also gonna crochet like around the waistband like a belt um, and I think that needs to be pretty sturdy because the skirt part is gonna be heavy because there's gonna be so much fabric so I think that needs to be non stretchy and then my plan is to crochet probably the whole skirt part very much inspired by this photo um, and I need to make it somehow that it will be wider towards the end and I haven't completely figured out that yet, even though I've done some sample swatches. But oh, I don't know, I'll have to I'll have to see how it goes. And yeah, just take it one step at a time and then deal with the unforeseen events as they as they come along. <laughs> this must be one of the weirdest camera setups yet. This is how far I've come now. So I've actually started to work on the crochet panels. I don't know, something happened here, so it's not completely even, but I think that's gonna be fine once I crochet here for the neckline. So the plan has been the whole time. So this is going to be like so. And now I'm gonna crochet uh, around until the back and do the same thing here for this side. This has taken me three or four evenings and there's a lot of dress left. What I really enjoy about this project is that since I'm making it up as I go along, it's really engaging, but at the same time, like I need to put all my focus on this because now I, for example, tried out this kind of stitch for the first time. I've never done this kind of a stitch. And I'm all the time like thinking how the placement of the different stitches and textures are going to be. And then I'm also trying to keep like the side so it gets even, so it doesn't, you know, go out and in all the time. But it's really fun to experiment. And I don't think, I mean, I'm not gonna make a pattern out of this because I don't know if there's anybody who's as crazy as me as that they will ever attempt to knit or crochet their own wedding dress, or though, I mean, of course, there are people who have done that. Um, but I just feel like it's um, this is just for me. Like, I'm just gonna do it as a creative process. And then, I mean, if it turns out really beautifully, then maybe um, I'll try to put down some notes. But yeah, it's just really, really fun to experiment. And at the moment, I'm still really. Um, in a phase of like exploration and uh, optimism, but we'll see, we'll see. It is 
to day six of the wedding dress project and we're actually right now on our way to a wedding. So I brought my own wedding dress with me and I'm gonna work on it. Yesterday I tried to do this crochet button um, fastening system for the back that I was thinking to maybe do, but I don't know, I tried a bunch of different ones, but I'm not convinced. So I think I'm gonna go to my original plan and just do like knitted, um, like very much similar to this, a knitted panel for the back because I just think like I wasn't able to get them small enough so that it would make sense. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours has officially started and I'm gonna give you an update on how it's been going so I've managed to this is now the front or the upper body piece it looks a little wonky I don't know I wasn't able really to keep the sides that even but I'm hoping that will be okay once I crochet the so it's gonna be like this I need to make it a little bigger because I don't want it to be too tight I'm gonna make like a probably crochet thing here, then like waistband thing, belt mm. solution. And I also yesterday started to now work on the skirt part. This is now the skirt part. Now, the skirt is a real whoa, test of engineering <laughs> because um, as I think I talked about or explained, I want to have the skirt be, wait, it's this way. Uh, crochet this way instead of in the round or in this way which is what you normally see at least when I researched on Pinterest so instead to have like a nice drape I decided to crochet it this way so vertically instead of horizontally and then my idea is to have it sort of like because I mean I want it to be of course uh, more narrow here along the waist and then that it goes out so I get this a-line form I mean, I'm sort of like making it up as I go along, which might be a terrible mistake. And maybe I should do much more calculating and planning, but part of the charm of this project is really that I can make des design choices and decisions on the go. And when I see how it looks, then I can adapt. Again, this might be a huge mistake, but that's the road we're taking. <laughs> Right now I've sewed together the top corset part, so now I think I'm going to try it on. Just want to sort of get a little bit of a feeling for how the fit is. I didn't want it to be too tight. Ooh, all right, yes, yeah, I, I like it, I think it's it's good. I mean. I'm thinking a little bit maybe if it should have been a little bit longer but then again my whole vision the whole time has been that I will have these now crochet parts that go this way so I have like this vertical and then I have these horizontal lines so let's hope that it will all make sense. <laughs>
setback time. <laughs> the first major setback. Hur rotar bort det? Du bara det där som går in. För det är det som gör att det blir påsa. Det är ändå det går in så inte där. Det är därför det blir en sån där. Det är någon där bakom den där spetsen. Den syns inte, det blir inte så fint som jag tänkt mig. När det finns en påse. Det blir ju alltså en topp. Alltså det är väldigt, väldigt fint. Bara, fuck it, Min idé har varit att det ska vara en sån där. där. I crocheted this part. I think it looks really nice. I think the idea is good. But um, overall, I think I think it's too big. I think that this that is a little baggy. I mean, usually, I mean, as a top, this would be nice. Maybe as a summer dress, I think works really well. But it's just not the vision I have for my wedding dress. So I'm gonna have to rip out all of this. All of this, this, and then gonna have to rip out the seams I made and take away some of the fabric from this. So probably that last knitted back panel that I put in is too much and yeah, this is probably gonna set me back like one or two days of work, which I mean, it's still, I'd rather do that and be really happy with the end result, but of course this is it's a little bit of a bummer. It's a little frustrating, but I think it's just gonna bother me if I don't do it now. So let's rip it up. for a little bit of an update. I think we're going on day 19. We do have a pretty major issue, which is this. Uh, as you can see, I've slightly miscalculated or sort of missed. <laughs> There's quite a lot of area here on the shoulder to be covered by a sleeve, which with this construction doesn't really take that into account. So when I'm standing like this, it's fine because I've literally just started to knit a tube that goes out from here. But then when I do like this, of course, it's it doesn't cover that. My plan to fix it is to basically do a few more crochet rows here. So that way I'll be able to tighten this whole area. Uh, I'll probably also do a few more here. And then I'm also going to soak it because giving this a bath will make the fabric lay nicer and just smooth out and will also give me a little bit more fabric because it will expand. So hopefully these things will help me fix this uh, 
slight cleavage issue. <laughs> We have now moved into the new home, so we've slept here for three, two or three nights and the last few days have been so chaotic. We've just been grabbing stuff from the old house and brought it here to the new home because our first, our initial plan was to actually move in here after the wedding. So the wedding is in four or five weeks. Oh, there is a fly keeping a lot of noise. <laughs> four or five weeks. But then, I mean, when we got here, we got the keys to this place, we just felt like, oh no, we're just way too eager. We just want to move in straight away and instead of waiting till, until after the wedding. So I've been doing that, which means that I haven't had that much time to knit, so I've been feeling a little bit stressed. So today, I'm taking the full day, I'm just going to knit, just going to work on this, because I really want to be in a good place and not have to sit and knit this the day before the wedding. Like that is my absolute nightmare, which I do want to avoid at all costs. Hello, hello. It is um, day, uh, let me think, 14, 20, I think. Is it day 20? 20 or 21? Oh, I get so confused, <laughs> but I think it's day 20. And I've just been sitting out on the porch, drinking some wine. Um, and now I've started on the skirt part. It's day 12 of making my wedding dress project. And my original plan has been the whole time to crochet my whole skirt, but I'm not feeling 100% about it. I'm not feeling very satisfied with it. And yesterday I got a strong intuitive feeling that I should just knit my skirt instead. Still so much work to do. I thought I would put the stitches on a stitch wire and try this on to get a sense and a feel for how the skirt part will look. So let's do that. All right, I'm putting on a uh, skirt because <laughs> it's not quite long enough yet but now we can sort of see i think it's gonna be good i have a horrible bra underneath but that's not really the thing we're looking at now now we're looking at the skirt which i need to go in front of the mirror and see okay i'm thinking um i would maybe like the waist to be a bit more defined because now it's sort of just so I'm not quite sure about the waistline. Like I, in a way, wish I would have maybe made it a little bit tighter so it would be really tight around the waist. Now I feel there's like a little bit of space, but I think I need to just continue with the skirt and then I'll actually see how it looks. It might be really elegant and really nice that it kind of just flows in a nice line. Um, and that's for sure something I can also maybe with some elastic fix later. And also like this, I posted it on Instagram and there were so many suggestions like using like silicone bands, like rubber bands, or these double-sided tape that Hollywood stars use um, to do like all kinds of crochet, like ribbing things. So I'm for sure gonna be able to fix that. But now I'm really thinking about the skirt, but I think I'm just gonna continue with this lace pattern, see how it goes, work a good like four inches, 10 centimeter, 20 centimeters, down the line and then I think I'll get like a feel for the drape and how the fabric will turn out. I still feel good about it. I'm, I'm feeling positive about it, but one thing's for sure, I do need to knit a lot in the coming days.
day 26 tomorrow it's gonna be exactly three weeks until the wedding and today i just feel really overwhelmed with the fact that we're moving we're planning a wedding i'm making my own wedding dress my knitting book it should have been released tomorrow but it's been a little bit delayed and I just feel there are so many things to do, so many things to do on the to-do list and I don't know where to start. I should, or should I, try to organize my workspace? Should I try to organize in the bedroom? Should I try to go through the to-do list for the wedding? There are so many things still to do even though we have done a lot. Should I just knit? Um, should I focus on editing videos that I have in stock that I haven't edited yet? Should I try to market on Instagram? I don't know. It's, there's just like too many, too many things that need to be done right now. I think one of the things that kind of taken, has taken me by surprise is that since we decided to just sort of move almost by accident because our original plan was to move after the wedding and then now we kind of did it and in the weekend we need to have our old flat um, emptied out. Um, I don't know, like I feel like I haven't really taken it in or there's so many things going on at the same time. So I think that has maybe caught up with me a little bit that actually now this is where I'm gonna live and even though I love it, I mean, I love our home, um, it's still like a big change. So. I don't know, that also makes me feel like, I don't know, or maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. But today doesn't feel great. <laughs> <sighs> Good. Good morning. I think it's day, oh gosh, I think it's day like 33 or something. And I have not been working on the dress for the past like two or three days, ever since I soaked the skirt. I'm filming this on my phone, so that didn't go well. <laughs> I haven't filmed or worked on the wedding dress at all for the past few days because we have just been trying to get our new home organized. So that's taken up so much time and energy, to be honest. But today I'm determined to continue and also show you how the dress looks once now that it's been soaked. I haven't tried it on yet. Right now I am actually practicing my own uh, wedding makeup. First I thought maybe I'll get like somebody to do it for me, um, but I don't really have anybody, anyone like trusted makeup artist that I know and I'm pretty like I don't want to or I don't like to wear too much makeup. So then I just figured there's so many tutorials online. I'm a YouTuber. I'm very much, you know, you can do it yourself. So instead I've gone and bought all kinds of expensive makeup and now I'm just trying to practice. So I have two weeks to practice the perfect bridal makeup. Um, but yeah, that is what's going on. That's the status update. Two weeks until the wedding, oh! and I have so much to do. <laughs> I have now blocked the sweater. It's finally dry up. So it is just like 10 centimeters, four inches below the knee. So now I'm gonna start on doing like the final frill. And my plan for that is to really take inspiration from these stitches that I have here on the sleeves because I really like this, that it goes very vertically. So I have like these lines and then my plan is to increase a lot. I'm not entirely sure what kind of lace pattern I'll come up with, but something that creates this kind of a wide frill type thing. You'll see, you'll see. All right, I have my Japanese stitch Bibles with me and next I need to decide if I'm going to pick up the same amount of stitches from the edge that I had before or if I should pick up more to get that effect of it going like outwards. Um, but I'm not really sure yet. Mm, lots of questions right now. I love how soft the fabric has become after I've soaked it. It's really, really nice and it does drape really, really nice. All right, it is officially week number six and I am determined to have this dress finished by tomorrow. 
So I've started the final frill and yesterday I did make some good progress. So this is how far I've become. I've become. Far I've come. <laughs> I feel like I am becoming the dress. Becoming one with the dress. Um, one setback is that this morning I woke up and I had a really, really pain between my shoulder blades on the right side. Um, I could already feel it in the evening. I don't know if it's from knitting or if it's from carrying heavy stuff or from doing something while we've been organizing our new home. That's actually interesting because a lot of people, while I've been sharing this journey on Instagram, have asked me how am I dealing with pain or if I have pain in my hands from knitting so much. But up until this point, really, I haven't had any pain. Um, maybe the only time I felt a little bit pain in my shoulder uh, was when I was crocheting a lot. Like, I feel like crocheting, I need to tense up more, maybe because I'm not as used to doing it. So crocheting gives me more pain. But with knitting, I usually don't find that I tense up or that I get any pain. But this last few days actually, or yesterday, I did feel it and I felt also a little bit of a stiffness in my hands. But I'm also thinking maybe that's because I'm just in general a little bit tired. <laughs> so that could be the reason, but I mean now it's so close to being finished and then I really want to soak this. I'm also thinking now it's upside down, but wait a minute. Um, so this is how it's gonna be. And I'm also thinking if I should then crochet one more row this way so that it corresponds with the waistline where I've crocheted lines this way because I think this edge it's not like the prettiest edge but we'll see when we get there just come home after a full day in the city. It's day 39 and Yuki had been gone. He'd hung all the fairy lights in the ceiling. <laughs> and this is going to be our event, no, our venue for the wedding. <laughs> um, and now it's really starting to feel like, oh my God, it's actually happening. It's literally, I mean, what is it? Seven, eight, nine, nine days until the wedding. Or is it eight? Well, like, a week and a half or something and oh I am so close to being finished with the dress today I've had it in my tote bag tucked away all day I'm carrying it with me everywhere I go in the bus in the cafes when I meet people I'm just knitting on this because now I really I was determined to get it done by Tuesday Tuesday came and went then I on Wednesday Wednesday came and went because we were to like Ikea and all these kinds of shops just getting stuff for the wedding so I hadn't had much I didn't have that much time for knitting, even though, of course, I had it with me and I was sitting on the go in the car. But now it is... Oh. I think I might need like maybe five centimeters, so like two inches more, and then, then I'm just gonna bind off. And I haven't... So this is now the frill. I'm working on this lace and I haven't tried it on in a really long time. So I don't know how all of these stitches are gonna look because now they're really cinched up when I have them on the knitting needle, but I have no idea how it's gonna turn out when I bind them off a they can actually flare out or I'm hoping they will flare out and create a nice drape, but I'm so close to being finished and I'm really excited and a little bit nervous as well because I know like right now here at the waistband, like because it's getting really heavy at the bottom, it's starting to drag it or it pulls it a lot. So I think I'm gonna have to do some kind of elastic thingamathong <laughs> in here to keep it all together. Um, but obviously, well, well, we'll see the final result really soon. Oh! And there's still so many things to do for the wedding. super frustrating has just happened. So I only have like maybe five centimeters left and because um, I thought or because I still wanted to do like a grand finale, a grand ending, I decided I'll add in one more lace. Like instead of just continuing the lace that I had chosen, I thought, oh, I can still add something. 
and now I realize that the lace that I chose, it actually didn't work because in the pattern, I think they have started from knitting it basically from down up and I started it basically the other way around. But now I'm realizing that it probably doesn't work like that because it really doesn't look good and I don't understand really how I'm gonna make it look good. So like the past three, four hours that I've been working on this has gone to a waste and I'm really, really ready to get this dress done. And now I have to rip up all the work I've just done and do it again. Fun. one week before the wedding. It's really freezing in our house because there isn't really any heating. I'm also alone. It's a week before the wedding. Feeling overwhelmed. It's all just a little much right now. Good morning. It's day 42. Oh, and yesterday, oh, I had a real dip. I just feel like this dress never ends. And then I started to think about all these things that we still have to do for the wedding. So uh, I was pretty overwhelmed, but now I'm sitting here with a blanket because it's so cold inside. But I think I'm finally, maybe, maybe going to be able to finish today. So this is the pattern I'm working on right now. I want there to be a little bit more of this rib. So once I'm done with doing the uh, decreases here, um, I hope I'll have enough length finally for this dress. But yeah, it's been a little bit of a tough few days, I have to say, um, just... <sighs> It just feels like this project goes on forever. <laughs> dress it's finally done and I am so so happy with how it turned out and right now I am just I've soaked the frill and I'm letting it dry it just feels like I'm finally almost done with this project I mean obviously I still have this slip under dress issue that I need to take care of but then there's so many different things so I don't know mixed emotions but I am really really happy that I managed to complete my dress and it is well quite spectacular I have to say but yeah still a little bit more to work to do Arma mitä mä just löysin Mä löysin tän Pampelukone sana originaali Yhtäkkiä mulla tulee mieleen että hei se voi olla siellä I can't believe that I found this. I suddenly remembered I have one IKEA bag with all kinds of random junk and I saw some, uh, what do you call it, like electrical wires in it a few weeks ago and then I suddenly remembered like, oh yeah, that, that is a place where this might be. And now, I mean, okay, now I feel, even the sun is coming out, um, I feel much better now. This really gave me an energy boost.
It is half past 12. I've finished my slip on dress. There's still a few details that I need to do, but I'll do that tomorrow. Now, now can I go and sleep? <laughs> See you tomorrow. It's 8 p.m. in the evening. We've been the entire day working for our wedding, which is tomorrow. And I'm so tired, but also really, really, really happy, but very tired. <laughs> but uh, so thankful that we had so much help to make this space absolutely beautiful tonight. Tomorrow is the wedding. This has been a moment that I've been waiting for for the past six weeks and it's been so tangible every day and so present in my life because I've been working on my wedding dress that I finally get to wear tomorrow and now I'm gonna even though there's like a million things still here to do I'm gonna go to my parents spend the night there you can his friends are gonna be here I'm gonna finalize some stuff I need to get away <laughs> so I don't stress too much. Still need to work on a tiny little detail on the dress because the slip on under dress, you can kind of see it a little bit from underneath. So I think I'm gonna sew it together and then tomorrow is our wedding.
am happy. I am dancing. This is my home.